Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about some of the plant diseases that occur. So moving on with that. So moving on with the, some of the diseases that occur in plants. So I'll discuss some of the disease, uh, diseases and its types. So what is a plant disease? So plant disease is nothing but these are symptoms and conditions that impedes normal physiological state and interrupts or modifies vital functions of plants. So this is some sort of change in their state so that we can see some sort of differences in a plant. Also some of the pathogens which are responsible for plant diseases. So these are organisms that basically cause the disease. Some of them are bacteria, fungi, viruses, protozoa, nematodes, phytoplasma and other parasitic plants. Also phytopathology is the study or the term given to the plant diseases caused by the pathogens. So next is the infectious disease caused by biotic. So diseases caused by a pathogen then spread from a diseased plant to a healthy plant. So this is a disease which is caused by a pathogen itself and not through transfer from an infectious plant to a healthy plant. And this is one, this is non-infectious disease which is a biotic factor which is does not spread mostly involves unfavorable environmental factor. So it does not spread uh, does not spread through any of the infectious plants, but it happens due to some of the unfavorable conditions such as rain, cold or heat. Also high and low temperatures causes frost injury, air pollution, lack of excess soil moisture, soil acidity, alkalinity, uh, mineral toxicity and nutrient deficiency. So these are some of the factors that may result in plant diseases. So moving on with this, so let's just uh, take some points out, uh, points, uh, points of differences uh, between a healthy plant and a diseased plant. So there are very few points of uh, differences for between the two because it is very easy to understand which is a diseased plant or a plant which has suffered uh, some disease versus a healthy plant. So a healthy plant normally uh, goes through a normal physiological functions which, uh, in, uh, which includes the cell division growth, development, differentiation, respiration, reproduction, photosynthesis, absorption of water and minerals and their translocation. Whereas disease plants do not have all of these functions. So this is a very easy uh, differentiation between the two as you, can, as you can see. So all of these activities, all of these healthy activity for a plant does not see, uh, does not visible in a disease plant. Moving on with this. So let's just talk about some of the categorization or classification of plant diseases. So these are some of the diseases that is based on the occurrence and the distribution. So these include mainly three types, which is endemic, epidemic and pandemic. So endemic is a disease that, cons, uh, that occurs or that happens in a prevalent to a specific geographical region. So that is uh, endemic is something that is uh, pretty much isolated to a specific a geographical region such as war disease in potato and Darjeeling, whereas epidemic is a severe form of disease that occurs periodically over a large region of major crop fields. So endemic is a smaller form of epidemic. So if a disease or some sort of a some sort of a disease occurs in a very small region which is known as endemic, whereas if that region expands to a bigger area that is known as epidemic. And pandemic is something that occurs universally or worldwide and that is a disease that spreads across the continent or subcontinent resulting in mass mortality so it causes huge deaths a lots of losses due to a pandemic so moving on with this so talking about the fourth type of plant disease classification which is sporadic so these are diseases that occur at, occur at very irregular period and locations over relative few instances such as light light of potato wilting and some of these things which are caused due to uh, uh, due to change in location over or in a very sort of a abrupt period such as light blind and wetness. So next talking about the plant diseases based on the extent of their association with the plants. So which can be localized or systemic. So, so based on the location these can be localized in systemic. So localized is something that affects only a single part of a plant, whereas systemic is something that affects the entire plant. So localized, uh, some of the examples of localized is leaf spot, whereas for systemic it is downy, uh, mildew, mildews, 
or welts. Also, next we have the based on the organs they attack. So, based on the organs they attack, there are many diseases as you can see on the screen, such as root, shoot, fruit, and foliage diseases. So, root diseases are commonly attacked on the root uh, root rot, whereas shoot it is on the stem rot, whereas fruit is simple as on the fruit, and for foliage it's the leaf or the light of rice or green gram of life pro. So moving on with that, so next we have is the based on the mode of infection. So based on the mode of uh, infection, the plant disease uh, changes or there are different types of uh, plant disease that occurs on the mode of infections. So there are some of them as you can see on the screen as uh, there are three types which are soil, airborne and seed borne. So soil borne are the pathogens which are survived on soil as resisting spores mycelium stands and rhizomorphs such as uh, root rot, wilt and some of these and airborne is something that is spread through air some of the diseases of airborne type would be blight, rust, powdery mildews and uh, next we have is seaborne, seedborne. The seedborne is are the pathogens carried along with the seed such as smuts of wheat, damping off. So these are some of the diseases that are caused uh, that are caused by the mode of infection. So these there can be uh, uh, other than three these types also. So there can be other types of diseases caused due to based on the mode of infections. But I found these three to be the most handy and the most common types. So I added them. Also some of the based on the symptoms there such as uh, rust, smuts, riots, blights, leaf spots, canker wills, downy mildews and powdery mildews. So these are some of the Based on uh, symptoms, these are some of the plant diseases that can be caused. So these are all the diseases, name of the diseases. So these are all some of the name of the diseases that are caused based on the symptoms. All right. So do you, so seeing this, all these types of symptoms. So these are some of the plant diseases that occur. So we'll be discussing some of the plant diseases. So let's just keep this video till here. I'll be back with another video very soon. I'll be discussing all the different types of plant diseases. So stay tuned and thank you for watching this video. Thank you.